Good morning and welcome to the Forex Daily Update, brought to you by Pepperstone on Friday the 18th of January 2019. I'm Darren Sindon and you can follow me throughout the day on Twitter by using at DS underscore Pepperstone. OK, let's kick off as ever with a look at the overnight changes and price moves to be aware of. Um, a relatively quiet session over the last uh, 24 hours in the world's foreign exchanges. Um, still one or two points of note though. Uh, I'd just like to flag uh, cable here. Uh, the pound sterling trading at 129.8290 shortly before we recorded the video. Um, not much of a move overnight, although it was slightly off the top. Uh, but as far as a weekly and monthly uh, moves are concerned, but very impressive rally in the value of the pound and perhaps one that goes against the underlying macroeconomic and political grain. In terms of the US dollar in Asia, it's been making gains against both the yen and the yuan overnight, up by 0.11% against the Japanese yen and 0.17% to the good uh, against the Chinese currency. And uh, the dollar continues to make headway in uh, Latin America, uh, adding 0.38% uh, against the Brazilian real. Dollar index for its part trading at 96.08 shortly before we went live, um, up modestly, up by 0.02% uh, the trade weighted US dollar. Um, and uh, let's see if it can finish the week with a 96 handle or whether we'll drift off uh, again into the weekend. OK, what's on the calendar? Events that may move the markets today. Relatively compact calendar today. We've already had uh, industrial production out of Japan uh, for the month of November, uh, a slightly better read there, plus 1.5% compared to October's plus 1.4. So that's uh, on the plus side, I think, for uh, the Japanese economy. Uh, to come at uh, 9.30 GMT in the UK, we should have retail sales for the month of December. Um, of course, uh, retailers in the UK have been struggling, both bricks and mortar and online. So it'll be interesting to see uh, what these uh, seasonal uh, retail sales figures tell us about uh, the state of the consumer in the UK. Uh, we pause then uh, until 13.30 and jump over the Atlantic to Canada for a raft of CPI data uh, from that country. Again, all of this data uh, is for the month of December and of course the levels of, in of inflation in Canada will directly affect uh, the Bank of Canada's thinking about future interest rate rises, whether, whether to make them or not. Uh, then at 14.05, we jump over the border into the USA to hear a speech from the FOMC member Williams. At 14.15, we'll have industrial production and capacity utilization data for the month of December out of the States. Uh, a chance to look at the uh, performance of uh, US industry and manufacturing in particular uh, during the month of December. At 1500, we have the widely followed Michigan Consumer Sentiment Index for the month of January. Uh, a look at how the US consumer is thinking about the current situation and the months ahead. And then at 1800, we shall have the uh, Baker Hughes US oil recount account of the number of active drilling rigs operating in the USA at the moment. There's no commitment to traders report this week, of course, because of the US government shutdown. OK, then, breaking news and comment that's caught my eye overnight. And first of all, China has issued a downward revision to its 2017 GDP just days ahead of its Q4 2018 data release. Meanwhile, Japanese consumer inflation has fallen to seven month lows uh, in December, data reveals. Staying with Asia Pacific, North Korea's top negotiator has arrived in Washington DC for a series of meetings with senior officials and is said to be carrying a letter uh, from the North Korean leader to President Trump. And the US may consider removing or easing trade tariffs with China to speed up those trade negotiations ahead of the March 1st deadline for an agreement which was imposed by the USA. Uh, and that's from uh, the Wall Street Journal and uh, the Quartz News Agency. So that's quite interesting. And I think that's set a slightly more bullish tone uh, for Asian equities uh, than we might otherwise have had overnight. OK, then, food for thought and something to take away with you into the trading day and beyond. And why not think about this? The scale and pace of growth in China is a hotly debated topic, which directly affects investor sentiment. But whatever the upcoming GDP data says about uh, Q4 2018 growth in the country, the last two decades have seen an explosive growth in wealth creation, with China eclipsing many other G10 nations on this metric. Um, and here's a sobering <coughs> statistic here. Uh, while China had just 41,000 millionaires in 2000, today it has more than 3.5 million. And that's 
uh, quote and the chart underneath is taken from the Credit Suisse Global Worth Report for 2018. Uh, and the growth in millionaires in China here in this uh, mid blue line uh, has just been uh, almost parabolic. Uh, and as you can see, uh, the, that growth has, uh, has overtaken many other um, G10 economies. Right, please take a moment to read our risk warning. Trading CFDs and foreign exchange on margin can be a risky business. If you're in any doubt about those risks or the suitability of leveraged products for you, then please do contact your Pemmerstone account representative who will be happy to take you through those. And do take the time, as I say, to read this risk warning thoroughly. Thank you very much. Have a good trading day and a good weekend.